See, he get all the questions that like. Yeah, I ain't even fool nothing. She get nervous when I when I dig my hand in here. She get nervous. Oh my God. The score is four and one right now. Check the score. That's four to zero. Oh. Uh, what's my favorite color? I'm gonna throw this little one in there just in case. I'm trying to help her out. I'm really rooting for Kim. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I, I was gonna write a joke about that shit. I bet y'all see shade red. I, I, I was. First I knew of all, it. he a kappa. His see, collar I knew red. It. Look, I he like it. red, G. Like he trying to. Uh, that's why I said also black. She said that because yeah, I am a kappa. My car was red at one point. His room red. He got a red comforter on his bed. That's what I'm saying. Red I know him better than you know himself. I, he like red, it's but maybe black. that's not his favorite color though. I should say that he likes red. Red cool, but it just it just also black. Up. I know he likes black. I so love black. I knew that one too. Light skin nigga look good in black. Heavy. I start I start throwing on them all black fits. You know, looking good. Guys, looked great, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a point. For work. red? Oh, you said black too, huh? Yeah, I said okay. also black. I knew she was going to say red. I knew <laughs> it. I'm like, watch I say red. She going to say red. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going If I could be any animal or mystical creature, what would it be? I feel like we talk. Oh, I do. I remember now. Okay. See, the deep questions is the shit that I really know some shit about. All right, y'all ready? Black area. <laughs> what you say? Alright. <laughs> oh bro, the black area. I had to think though, because I'm like, you feel like when we talk about mystical creatures, like everybody's first instinct is to say a unicorn. But uh <laughs> Who says that? I like this guy. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Name one thing I'm scared of. You're scared of. Ooh, I don't know. This is gonna, Fearless. Be, this is gonna be a real guess. Let me think about you. Solid, That's deep for the camera. And you know how some people are just like afraid of heights or afraid of like spiders. Oh, I don't got no general general fear. I'm a risk taker. That's how I lost my leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I put fear of being alone or lack of success. Okay. You don't mind being alone, but in a sense of like finding a special partner, a life partner is important for you. So that's what I meant by fear of being alone and living your life alone in that sense. I want a legacy, man. I want I want a family. I never had grandparents growing up or anything. So I like, I, I really want to have a nice big family for, you know, so they have the ability to have grandparents. Yeah, that is important to me. But I really want a son. I tell everybody this, but I really, really want a little me. And then I wrote lack of success as a fear. He's very ambitious. So I feel like you're not achieving everything you're working towards is like a scary thing for you. It's deeper than just like, oh, I want a lot of money. Like you want something that makes you feel fulfilled. You want to help your family. You want to have a family of your own. You want to give back. You want to help others. Being able to do those things would be your idea of success. So not being able to do that thing. The thought of that, I feel like it's something that is scary to you, which is why you work hard at everything you do. Some people can just sit around and like not have ambitions in life and just kind of like go through mm -hmm. life. But you are always constantly thinking about what should you be doing? How should you be doing it? And what you need to do, how to better yourself. And I think that's all the makings of a successful person. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We should do yours real quick. My fears? Service love fear. I got you. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to tell everybody this. <laughs> Not everybody don't know. Everybody going to be scared of shit up Thunderous noises. Yeah. What you write? Balloons. Yeah. Loud noises. Loud. So fireworks. anything, gunshots, balloons, fireworks. Tina is scared as hell. She's like a little dog. <laughs> when it's thundering outside and they... <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, you don't even give stuff a chance. Like, I didn't invite her to the gun range. Why would I go? And she just completely shuts me down. <laughs> she don't want to look at fireworks. She say, oh, maybe from like a far away. It wasn't like, that bad we was on a boat that time. See? It wasn't. We wasn't that close, though. He wasn't like up under it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> I'm getting too animated. It's easy. No. No. <laughs> Why <are> you pouting? <laughs> Why are you throwing a tantrum? What is my favorite food? <laughs> I was, hey, low key, when you started doing that, I was low key just gonna write it down because I already knew what you was tripping about. <sighs> it's like the universe is conspiring for you to win this game. Uh, she knew she wasn't gonna beat me. Uh, I mean, I do know a lot about him, but he's getting the easy point questions. Like. On a game that she made. 
I mean, I made it fair, clearly. <laughs> Taco. I was gonna draw one, but then I only know how to draw like the like black people tacos. I can't draw like authentic ones. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you trying to draw the soft shell? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, Kina loves, she can eat tacos seven days a week. If we, I can, honestly. Man, we, we want to go to brunch. What y'all think? Let's go get tacos. <laughs> just, tacos you know. es me comida favorita. And she knows Spanish. Un poquito. Yo entiendo mucho, pero hablo es más o menos. I'm trying to learn, but. He ain't raw like me. Because I eat get tacos so much. So every time I go to a Mexican restaurant, I make sure I speak Spanish the whole time. To the best of my ability. She coach. She has a video. Check her video out. She speaks Spanish for 24 hours. I week it. And it took a little while. Like, it took confidence for me to go out and speak it. Even Stephanie was telling me, too, I'll be out with her. And, like, sometimes I won't speak it if she there. Because she'll just do it for me. And she's mm -hmm. like, no, you do it. Yeah, you got to get the rep. The reps yeah. And I was in the DR. Everybody thought I was Dominican. Just because the way I look. They started speaking such fluent Spanish. And I'm just like, that's what inspired me to learn. I'm like, man, I got to learn this. It'll be cool if I knew Spanish. All right. So if I could relocate to anywhere in the world, where would it be? Where would it be? In all actuality, I'll make my own damn country. Oh, the Jeremy land. For real, I'll make my own country. For real, my own set of rules and policies. Come on, man. My own city, for real. I don't need a whole country. But a it's dictator. A, yeah, but in a good way. Y'all are like me. I think so. <laughs> I'll be a good mayor. So. There's places that I really want to go. This, I don't think I can answer this question yet. Yeah. I haven't been, been enough places to really. To so, like, no, right. I haven't been to the UK. I haven't been to the Asia's yet. Africa. Have my answer. Yeah. She right. I wrote Dallas down at first, but I, I didn't just want to do all US. But Dallas for the vibe. I was gonna write Cali for the money, Dallas for the vibe. DC though. But Dallas, I give her that for sure. Cause when I first got out of college, that's all I talked about was, damn, I want to move to Dallas. I want to move to Dallas. Then I started thinking about it. Like the more I stayed in Chicago, like damn, I need to be got some water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I love you know, the ocean. I love the lake. Cali's cool, but I don't think I can live there. But for what I do, like modeling and stuff, I would relocate there. That's where I want to go. That's definitely where. I I'm planning to go. That's uh, my goal. Ah, uh, yeah, it's your turn. A major goal I want to accomplish in the next five years. This should be an easy one. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Mm, both of these, actually. This is the obvious one, my spa. So that's what I've been working on for the last few years. Definitely within the next five years, you will see the Melanesan bathhouse and spa. But modeling for sure. This guy. He's a real model who actually has inspired me to really take that pursuit up. Because it's something that I kind of started pursuing a couple years ago and then I kind of let it fade. But I didn't have the proper direction and guidance. He ended up stumbling upon some gems and he shared it with me. And now he is signed to an agency. So he went to class there. Yeah. yeah. Started, I don't know, it was just an idea. Like for a while, I just always had this dope story. I always had this look that people would tell me, but I never really thought too much into it. But I, I low key just had like an epiphany one day. I was like, man, I need to start modeling and forget it. Oh, Dude, you man, texted I'm, me when I was in Hawaii. You yeah. was like, like gee, I'm like, what, I, what have I been I've doing been this whole time? I've been tweaking this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> for real, that's really how it went. I'm an amputee. Like, I just so much uniqueness to me that I, I felt like people would love it. When I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. I took the proper steps, talked to some people that I knew were modeling. Yeah, we talked to other people that, you know, that own my modeling agencies and here I am. So I'm out for like finish line, looking to work with Nike soon, uh, ASOS. Um, yeah, more on the way. There's links in the description yeah. below. I'm gonna link it right there.